Mega Evolutions, it's here guys. It's here earlier than I thought. And it's kind of raining-ish, so we kind of have to look for shade right now. And here's the situation guys. There's a Mega Charizard Y right in front of us right now. So we're gonna head to it right now. <clears throat> Hopefully there's still people because, well, you know, these kind of raids, people tend to disappear really quickly. I was hoping the first one would be X because obviously the X looks best, but you know, this would work too. Well, there's only three people right now, but the first raid already went through. Uh, that's okay. I think three people should be able to take down a Charizard anyway. So while we're waiting in the lobby, here's what we know about the Mega Pokemon, right? So Mega Pokemon, basically they only have like a couple that is out right now. I think it's mostly Gen 1. Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Beedrill. I'm not sure if Pidgeot is one of them, but Mega Charizard Y. First ever Mega Pokemon. Wow, this actually looks really really nice. I didn't think that it's gonna release so soon. I thought it was gonna be like another week or something like that, but you know, Niantic really stepped it up, you know? Uh, we have about nine people right now, so yeah, this should go down quite fast, but keep in mind Charizard is much stronger right now. The faster you take it down, the more Mega Stones, which is already called Mega... Is it called Mega Stones or Mega Candy? I don't know. Yeah, you need Mega Candy to evolve into a Mega Pokemon. Alright, Mega Charizard Y is down. Yeah, it will just go back to a normal Charizard though. Okay, let's see how many get Charge TM, Fast TM, Revive, Hyper Potion, Stardust, and... It doesn't say. Speed... Oh, we got 50! Okay, cool! Uh, for Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, you just need 200 to evolve, so we just need to do more... Four, three more raids of this, then... Alright, so after this, we're gonna do the Beedrill quest. Uh, there's like a few parts where you can collect the Beedrill Mega Candy. And then we're gonna, hopefully we can do two Mega Evolutions today because I wanna do one Charizard and one Beedrill. Uh, if I can do all three starters, that'll be great, but I need to find the raid first. And I did hear that right now all the wild Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur that you can find in the wild can be shiny herbal. I'm not sure about the raids though. Let me guys, let me know. I only read that on uh, wild Pokemon, like wild Charizard can be shiny. So if you find a wild Charizard, you know, hope you're lucky, yeah? As you can see, Mega Evolve requires 200 candy. Uh, well, it's not candy, it's called Mega Energy. Sorry, my bad, guys. So yeah, we have to collect 150 more to evolve this guy. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. That is going to be a quest that we can do, a special research, a Mega Discovery. Send three gifts, uh, claim this one, catch 15 Pokemon. Okay, cool. We're going to do this and get as many Beedrill Mega Energy. Yeah. So, chapter one, we can claim for Pokeball, we can claim for Super Potion, and most importantly, Mega Energy. So, let's see what's the first one they're going to give us. Three rare candies and... Some mysterious Pokemon. I think it's gonna be Beedrill. Nope, it's Weedle. Chapter 2, Power Up Pokemon 5 times, Evolve 1 Weedle, defeat 3 Team Go Rocket Grunts. Uh, simple enough, but you know, I gotta find those Grunts right now, and there are none around me, so yeah. Oh, this looks like a Kabuto nest. Nice. Uh, guys, we are doing a Blastoise raid right now. Uh, it's kinda raining a bit. Yeah, I need to put down my camera somewhere. <laughs> But yeah, we're doing a Blastoise raid right now. I don't really have any hands to fight. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch the screen, okay? Alright, so Blastoise raid is done. Uh, okay, let's see how many I got because I didn't already check. 45, okay. So the thing is, I'm curious, is it like Charizard, Blastoise and whatever Pokemon have their own specific, uh, what do you call it, specific Mega Energy or like, you know, you can find one and then it uses for all of them. So I don't know, we're gonna find out in this case. Okay, so I was right. You kind of have to find the energy specifically for that Pokemon. So that's the problem here. Because at this point, it seems like you have to fight a lot of raids for a lot of different types of Pokemon to get their Mega Energy. So, oh man, this is gonna take a long time. Anyway, we actually have another raid that is just down the road. Uh, where is it? It's over there. Another Blastoise. Okay, Blastoise it is. I was hoping it's gonna be a Venusaur or something. I'm telling you, if you have the whole umbrella, a camera, and your phone to play a game, it's not fun because, especially, it's raining, you know. Yeah, anyway, we have our second Blastoise, this time introducing uh, Mega Blastoise properly, you know. Uh, hopefully, after this, we can find a Mega Venusaur, that is the one we're looking for, and also a Mega Charizard X, obviously, right? Because I think Mega Charizard, we kind of need 200 candies, same goes to Blastoise and Venusaur. Beedrill, we only need 100, and that one we can get from a special quest later, so we're 
I think should be able to get at least two Mega Evolution today, I hope. Actually, Mega Blastoise looks really cool. Like, seriously, I love the freaking cannon, man. It's like one of my favorite. And uh, speaking of favorite, what is your favorite Mega Evolution? Like, it can be Gen 1, Gen 6, doesn't matter. Let me know in the comment section. My favorite Mega Evolution, it has to be... Rayquaza, I guess that's kind of given. Rayquaza is a very, very favorite, uh, top favorite for a lot of people. I guess I would want to say Lucario. Definitely Lucario. <laughs> Alright, let's see how many we can get. 50. Okay, we are sort of halfway there for Blastoise. Alright, so now I'm going to be looking for another mega, you know, raid. It's not easy to find, especially in this rain. Why is it raining so often in Singapore right now? I don't get it. You know, I'm starting to wonder if this is the most efficient way of giving us mega Pokemon. So like, I don't know, uh, I understand that it, it can only last for 4 hours, that makes sense. But the fact that you have to hunt for them in raids only, and you have to collect like that many candy for it to only last for 4 hours, I feel it's... Uh, I don't know. Imagine you have to do this for every single Pokemon that can mega evolve. I just feel like maybe there should be a more sufficient way of doing things right now than giving us just a raid. But I think in the future maybe there will be more because imagine if let's say there's like 20 Pokemon that can mega evolve, right? Don't tell me you have to do 20 times how, how many times it is to get the amount of uh, energy just to evolve that Pokemon. Just for 4 hours. So yeah, I, I don't know just doesn't seem very logical to me. Do you guys like this concept or something? Okay, currently I'm in the heart of town, like literally heart of town, and you can see that it's a Mega Charizard X right now that we're gonna go towards, but look, that's like 11 raids, but that's only one of them is the Mega Pokemon, so... Uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. I wish there was more, like... You know, it should disable all the other eggs and then just give us the Mega Pokemon, at least for this weekend, you know? Alright, here we go. Mega Charizard X. At least we managed to fight both X and Y today and we're currently in front of this National Gallery Singapore building. Yeah, that's where we are right now. I guess that's where Charizard X decided to come out. There's a couple, couple of statues here. It's quite nice, you know. And right behind me is the... Yep, you guys know it. Uh, we're just going to do this really quickly because I'm looking for the Venusaur. But then again, I am looking for maybe two more Charizard so that I can get 200 candy. I keep saying candy, but the energy, I don't know, I need to get used to it, sorry. Like I said, there is no more like raids around here that is for Mega Pokemon, so I'm a bit sad about that. May have to wait for a while, you know. We are done with Mega Charizard X. This one is a fire and dragon type Pokemon. Keep in mind, the type change, guys. Type change. Oh, look, he turned back to Charizard, okay. All right, let's see if we can get maybe... Oh, cool. I didn't realize that I invited you and then you managed to join. Thanks, man. All right, let's see how many we got. Maybe 50? Yeah, 50, I mean. Let's continue with our research quest, the Mega Discovery. All right, chapter two is done. We already completed it. Uh, 20 candies. I think this is Weedle candy. Yeah. Okay, 2,000 Stardust and a Raid Pass. Nice. Next one is basically they're going to give us, uh, wait, what was it? 100. Was it 100 energy? I know that Beedrill require 100 energy only, so that's actually quite good for us. Win a Raid, Mega, ba Battle in a Mega Raid. Okay, we kind of have to do that later. Catch 10 Pokemon. Okay, cool. Win a raid. Uh, there's currently a simple raid right now, Timber, uh, just around the corner. So we're just going to do that. See if we can get a shiny from that. And maybe while fighting Timber, we can use our Mega Beedrill and see how it goes. Do you guys want a shiny Mega Beedrill? Yeah, I think so, right? Alright, as we're walking, we're just going to walk and evolve this guy. Mega Evolve. Here we go, guys. Shiny Mega Beedrill. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at the animation. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Shiny Mega Beedrill. Wow. 1320. 1320. When you Mega Evolve, you cannot power it up anymore. You kind of have to wait for it to like, you know, the timer to go down. So it's like 4 hours it says here. 3 minutes, 3 hours 59 minutes to go. So we're going to use this guy. 
can we actually put him as our buddy? That's my question right now. Okay, we earn one medal. Ah, I guess you can. You can put him as your buddy. Look at that. Shiny Mega Beedrill as my buddy. Ooh, it's a bit dark, guys. Sorry. All right, here it is. Look at that. Look at that Shiny Mega Beedrill just, you know, hovering around. That's kind of nice. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Anyway, we have a timber right here. So uh, we're going to use our beedrill and then we're going to battle this timber down. You have to type mega by the way for you for it to pick up, uh, to come out. Okay, here it is. There is actually like a symbol beside you that says uh, there's like a mega symbol right there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see how strong this mega beedrill can be. Obviously, it's quite weak because we didn't power it up. But, you know, first time to battle, that's kind of nice. I want to use Charizard and Blast Toys too, you know when we get a chance. Okay, I'm just hoping there's no water, water droplet on my camera, but here we go guys. Timber versus our shiny Mega Beedrill. That is so awesome! Look at that! At least it's doing some damage, you know. Okay, it has drill run, so that's not bad. Ooh, we're doing damage. We're doing significant damage to this guy. Looks like we can solo- oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we almost died. We almost died! Run away from the top rock drill! <laughs> Our Beedro didn't make it, but that's okay. It's a very good first run though. Let's see if we can get a shiny... No. We still don't have a shiny timber yet, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, guys. One of you guys just invited me to a raid. Thanks, Boyan, for inviting me to this Venusaur raid. How do you know that I was looking for a Venusaur raid? Like, did you read my mind or something? Are you guys... Are you here? No! I think I was too late. I did not put my Mega Beedro in. Ah, uh, that's okay. Anyway, guys, we have a Mega Venusaur here. Very nice. I have to use a remote rate for this, so I don't have that many. I have like one more to go only, so if I find another Charizard with it, I guess I'll use it because I'd rather, want to, I'd rather use it for a Charizard right now. I'm next to the statues that is like kind of falling off, those little kids. Oh, I can't zoom in right now. Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. I kind of like it that we managed to fight all of the Mega Pokemon that is in the raid, like both Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. So I guess that's kind of good. We get managed to see all of them in this case. I think we managed to get 50 of this. Ah, okay, just 50. Thanks man for inviting me for the Venusaur raid. Guys, we found a new shiny. Keep in mind, this is a shiny for me that I have never gotten before. We have a shiny Wilmer. Shiny Wilmer. I know this has been out for a long time, but I never had it, okay? Every single water type event, I tried to get a shiny Wilmer. I never did. This is awesome today. <laughs> cool. Kind of makes sense. I'm kind of next to the river and stuff, so yeah, Wilmers are around. Shiny Wilmer. Wow. Thank you. Whoa, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <gasps> A do what? Uh, again, never found it in the wall before. Never caught it before. This is going to be Pokedex entry. Wow, okay, cool. So, Shiny Wilmer, Pokedex entry, the wall. I like to catch new Pokemon in the wild. I don't like to evolve it. That was my model a long time ago. Two Pokemon back to back. One is shiny, one is the Pokedex entry. We have completed our third chapter. I think this should be it. Uh, they're going to give us extra 25 more energy. That's kind of nice. They give us a lot of Stardust and more energy. Okay. Alright, with that said, we are done with the Beedrill one. So since we already evolved Beedrill, that's kind of it. Uh, the next one is we're going to be seeing if we can evolve a Blast Toys or a Charizard. I'm guessing a Charizard because we're kind of leaning towards that, you know. See that? That's the apple brown sphere thing, you know? Yeah. Okay, cool. We managed to get a Charizard X. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It doesn't really matter at this point, but as long as it's a Charizard, you know? I think after this, we still need one more Charizard to evolve it. Uh, sorry, to Mega Evolution. So, like, you have to do four raids, minimum four raids, just to get a Mega Evolution Pokemon. I cannot get enough of how Mega Charizard X looks like. It's so cool. It always looks so cool, especially in an anime. 
The anime looks so damn badass when uh, Red was using him. So I managed to find the last Mega Charizard just now and I already took it down and here we go. We're going to basically do our Mega Evolution for Charizard because we can and we finally have enough energy and I want to amend what I said previously where I said that uh, every single time you want to do a Mega Evolution it's 200 uh, energy. Apparently it's not that, that's not the case. I saw online uh, if you do a Mega Evolution for Charizard, the next time you're going to do it, it's going to be 50 energy only. But keep in mind because he has two stage X and Y, you kind of have to do 200 and 200 for each before you can become 50 and 50. If you evolve into Mega Charizard Y, apparently the CP is much higher because Mega Charizard Y is more of an attacking kind of Charizard, X is more like a defensive one. So. I kind of personally like uh, Mega Charizard X if it's a non-shiny, but if it's a shiny, I like Mega Charizard Y. Let's go with a shiny Charizard because, you know, char shiny Charizard looks the best, right? But we're going to evolve into Mega Charizard Y because I want to see how powerful it can get. Obviously, this is not going to be a very good comparison because this is not even powered up Charizard, but, you know, yeah, I just want to see how it looks like. Anyway, here we go, guys. Mega Charizard Y. Evolution time. Let's do this. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my god, that is beautiful. We have a Mega Charizard Y as our buddy and he's right here. Look at that. That is beautiful. Obviously, it's kind of weird that he's walking. Why are you walking? You should be flying around. Anyway, we have a raid that's going to appear in about 10 minutes. I, it doesn't matter what I get. I'm just here to hunt. Um, I'm just here to farm the energy stuff. So hopefully I can get a Venus or a Blastoise from this because that way I can, you know, Mega Evolve one of those. Niantic really finds a lot of way for us to use raid passes, huh? Uh, this makes things very, very, very convenient because we have a Mega Venusaur here. Which is very good for our Charizard, you know. So we have our Charizard Y just taking it down. I think it's going to go down really quickly. We have like 20 people here. It should be no problem at all. And it's dead. <laughs> Let's see how many energies we got. I think we have 50 at this point. Yeah, 50. Alright, I know we really couldn't see the Mega Charizard Y in action a lot because, you know, it died so quickly. But I think the next time we do any Mega Evolution, we're going to use the more higher CP and higher level up Pokemon of mine, okay? I'll try to power up some of them, okay? They haven't even reviewed like Pidgeot yet and there's still a couple of like Gen 1 Pokemon that can mega evolve like the likes of Scizor, you know? So, uh, sorry, Scizor is Gen 2, what am I talking? I don't know, it's kind of late now, my brain's not working right now. Anyway, that will be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this mega evolution thing was really, really exciting and I cannot wait until they like release all of it, you know, Lucario, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.